Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games, and we are back with another sponsored video of Commander Legends Draft Boosters. Gonna try to get through this one a little faster. This is the second video, or second box opening, I suppose, I have done of Commander Legends. The first one was pretty awesome. Okay, so this one has been sponsored by Robert S. So thank you very much, Robert for sponsoring this box and everything we find in here will be shipped to you. Okay, yeah, the first box was uh, was pretty interesting for sure. A lot of mythics, a lot of mythics. Okay, here we go. Pack number one. Good luck, Robert S. And thanks again for sponsoring the video. We're gonna be doing a bunch of these over the course of uh, the next couple of weeks. So I'm gonna to try to get through this one a little bit faster this time. We're just gonna go ahead and go straight to the awesome stuff. Guildless Commons. All right, so our first uncommon there. A Feast of Succession, a Horizon Scholar, and a wrong turn. Three mana instant, target opponent gains control of a target creature. We have another rare, again, Arcanium Weaver. Arcanum Weaver. And then another rare, a Coal Fenor of the Last U. So, three rares in your first pack. Congratulations, Robert. Helena Kessig Ranger. So you get a guaranteed foil in each pack. There's just before the foil, there is a couple of legendary creatures, so that way you definitely have some commanders to work with if you draft the set like it was intended to be done. These are kind of like a Pokemon card in the sense that it's just foiling around the borders. Really cool new sort of approach for magic cards for sure. On to pack two. Okay, Robert said, I have one request. I want to see a shiny lotus. And don't we all, Robert? So we're going to see if we can accomplish that for you. I'd really love to see that. A mindless automaton, a dreamstone hedron, a volcanic torrent, and then we have command beacon. Okay, so rare land, tap to add one colorless, and you can tap sacrifice command beacon, put your commander into your hand from the command zone. It's really handy, obviously, as the game wears on. If your commander has died a few times, get around that tax. Another rare, a goal, a Muldrak Amphiologist. So getting lots of rares. Really like to see that. Awesome a new partner commander, Kedris Emberclaw, familiar. And then a foil, Stone Fury. Okay. So yeah, this is uh, something like 70 new commanders. Lot. Really awesome stuff like Visser Seer as well and Preordain, things like that in the common slots. So pretty good set. Why don't you guys let me know what you're thinking of it? I'm sure you've been watching some of these box opening videos in the comments below. A Coastline Marauders, Vow of Torment. There's one vow for every color. A Supreme Will. An Acrotic Hex is our rare, one black and six. It's a sorcery. Each player sacrifices six creatures. You create a six tap tap. You create six tapped 2-2 two, two, a black a zombie creature tokens. Spit it out, Dave. There you go. Ick tak tick a salvage splicer. Interesting names in this set, to be sure. A Tormad the Desecrator and a Foil Raise the Alarm. So yeah. Jeweled Lotus. What do you all think about it? I mean we've been talking about it for a couple of weeks now, ever since it was spoiled. Black Lotus for Commander, Preordain. As I mentioned, some really decent stuff. Command Tower in the common slot, Commander Sphere. So lots of awesome stuff we need for Commander, and we're gonna have lots of them considering they're in the commons. An Orzov Advocist, an Armorcraft Judge. Then we have Body of Knowledge as a rare, another rare, an Archelagos, a Lagoon, a Mystic. And then we have a Keleth, a Sun Main Familiar, and our foil, first foil rare, a Coercive Recruiter. I actually really like this guy. Lots of cool pirates in this set, to be sure. One red and four, we have a Creature Orc Pirate, four, three. Whenever Coercive, Coercive Recruiter or another pirate enters the battlefield under your control, gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature until end of turn, it gains haste and becomes a pirate in addition to its other types. 
really sweet new pirate creature. Yeah, it's gonna be a lot of pirate deck tech going on. I mean, we really only had sort of Admiral, Admiral Beckett Brass, I guess, up until this point. Um, so we got a few new, one or two new pirate uh, commander potential cards, and then um, a bunch of awesome new pirates to go along with a pirate tribal. Thirst for Knowledge, a Null Caller, Imperious Perfect. So decent uncommons in that pack between Thirst for Knowledge and Imperial Recruiter. And then we have a Commander's Plate. Congratulations. This is a really awesome new mythic equipment. For one mana, we get an artifact equipment. Equipped creature gets plus three, plus three, and has protection from each color that's not in your commander's color identity. Equip to a commander for three and equip five. Congratulations, that is really awesome. Okay, and then a trusty pack beast foil. All right, yeah, I really like that commander's plate. That's, an, that's another nice new card for sure. A lot of awesome cards in the set, scroll rack, Field Lotus, Opposition Agent. That commander's plate is pretty sweet. So yeah, lots of cool, lots of cool stuff for sure. All right, what do we got here? We have a Sunset Pyramid. We have a Grafted War Gear, a Patron of the Valiant. There it is, a Jeweled Lotus. Congratulations, Robert S. All right, so we got a commander's plate and then the very next pack, had a jeweled lotus good for you the big card everybody's talking about the zero cost commander black lotus and then we have an armoreth the lustrous and we have rayback architect of ascension and a foil wild heart invoker prismatic piper yeah i'm really happy for you robert that was uh that's awesome that we got that right off the top get that out of the way really good box so far okay so we're gonna go straight to the uncommons here we have a skilled animator okay and then we have a mask of memory it's always a nice one a meteoric mace and our first rare is an amphin mutineer another pirate so salamanders and pirates are a thing for sure maybe not so much salamanders but definitely pirates Malcolm Keen-Eyed Navigator, and a Foil Eye Blight Assassin. Okay. Yeah, really happy to see that Jeweled Lotus. I am so excited for you. That is amazing. So definitely, definitely a really good hit there. Okay. We have a Make a Stand. Okay. And then we have another Meteoric Mace. A Meteor Golem, so it's definitely a Meteor theme going in this pack. Nev's a Disc, and there's also a Nev's Commander, Never Never and Now Never Nanel? Never Anal. Never Anal's Disc. So and there's like the Commander version to go along with him. I really like this Arden Intrepid Archaeologist and a foil run away together together. Okay. So like I said in the first video, uh, let me know if you guys are able to actually draft this. I wanna hear, I uh, check all the comments. So I do wanna hear if you drafted it, how it went for you, did you enjoy it? I'm really enjoying opening these packs. Return to Dusk is a classic card, especially for Commander. Three Visits, this is actually a reprint of an older Portal Three Kingdoms, I believe, card. So uh, expensive uncommon. I think it's sort of debuting around the eight or $10 mark. An Ember Wild Captain is a rare. And then we got a Jury Master of Review, another Malcolm Keen Eyed Navigator, and a Foil Cast Down. Yeah, I want to hear. So, like, like I said, let me know in the comments. Did you get out and draft? Are you enjoying the set? What do you want to get out of the set? Are you getting boxes? Right? I mean, it's the last set probably this year. Another preordained, so really good. It's been a great box. Wow, thirst for knowledge. Okay, then we have another grafted war gear. Seems like I'm feeling a bit of deja vu here, like I just opened this pack. Siren Storm Tamer, Promise of Tomorrow. So let's have a look at this. One white and two, it's an enchantment. Whenever a creature you control dies, exile it. At the beginning of each end step, if you control no creatures, sacrifice a promise of tomorrow, and then return all cards exiled with it to the battlefield 
under your control. I actually kind of really like that. Jury Master of the Review again, another Isior Award Wing Familiar, and a Foil Sky Diamond. Okay, so that's really cool. I mean, I think the foil, these diamonds, there's a bunch of these diamonds, charcoal and, you know, whatever, Sky Diamond. I believe that these were available as foils in something like 7th edition or something along those lines. But it's always nice to get foils of Mana Rocks for sure. Okay. There we go. Opal Palace is back, so that's always good too. There we go. Interpret, interpret the signs. We have a Revenant. We have a Kangis, a Lieutenant, and then we have a Court of Grace. So there's definitely a court in every color. This is the particularly uh, the white one, two white and two, an enchantment. When Court of Grace enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, create a 1-1 one, one white spirit creature token with flying. If you're the monarch, create a 4-4 four, four white angel creature token with flying instead. A Tuya Bear Claw, a Siani Eye of the Storm, and a Scrounging Bandar. Wow. Prismatic Piper. There is some crazy names in this set. That is to be certain. Okay. Where are we here? All right, Monstrous Onslaught. So this is another new one, I believe. Two green and three for sorcery. Monstrous Onslaught deals X damage divides as you choose among any number of target creatures where X is the greatest power among creatures you control as you cast this spell. Mask of Memory is a good one. Volcanic Torrent. And then we have a Command Beacon, a Gore Muldrak Amphiologist, Another Amareth, the Lustrous, so a lot of repetition, that's definitely real. Silverback Shaman. Yeah, I'm actually surprised. So far it's just this box. Didn't get that so much in the other box. I felt like, you know, every commander I was getting in the other box was pretty much new to me. But it seems like we're getting a bit of repetition in this box, to be sure. Kodax Shredder, a Scaled Behemoth, Pride of the Perfect. Pride of the Perfect. Okay, four mana. Elves you control get plus two, plus O. Oh. Hmm, interesting. Flamekin Herald is a rare. Then we have a Dargo the Shipwrecker. Ooh, all right. So we have a Tevish Sat Doom of Fools. And this is a Planeswalker version. For five mana, black and four, we get a legendary Planeswalker. He enters with four loyalty counters. You can plus two him to create two zero one black thrall creature tokens. You can plus one him. You may sacrifice another creature or planeswalker. If you do, draw two cards, then draw another card if the sacrifice permanent was a commander, okay? You can minus 10 him to gain control of all commanders, put all commanders from the command zone onto the battlefield under your control. Of course, he can be your commander and he does have partner. Really sweet. And then, ooh, I really like this. Okay, that's really nice. An Arden Intrepid Archaeologist with the brand new sort of bordered kind of foiling on that one. Really good box. Congratulations, Robert. Okay, about halfway through here. So, yeah, really excited for you. Man, I'm still shaking after that Jeweled Lotus. It's been like eight packs. Wow. Okay, that thing's crazy. Crazy how much value that's holding. We'll see if it uh, stays there. Fathom Fleet Sword Jack. Then we have a Brass Herald. A Confiscate, the Blue Court, Court of Cunning. Then we have a Hans Ericsson, a Numa Jorga Chieftain, a Foiled Malfield Twins, and then it looks like a Zombie Token. Okay. So I guess that's the big hit, eh? If you get the Foil Jeweled Lotus. I mean... Have we had foil scroll racks in the past? I don't know. I don't think so. I think it was only, what, Tempest or something like that, and then the list printing, which I don't believe were foils. So, foil jeweled lotus might be a thing. I don't know. I'd have to check the prices. Jessica's Will is the rare. A Rayav a Mastersmith. A Kesket the Flesh Sculptor. And then another foil mana rock. This time it is Moss Diamond. Pretty sweet. Okay. Yeah, I had a lot of pre-orders for this stuff. 
The ball really got rolling after Jeweled Lotus was spoiled. There's no question about it. So we have a Nadir's Nightblade. I haven't seen an Opposition Agent either. I know that's a huge one from this set. Warden of Evos Isle, Sashikima's Will. And then we have a Breaches Brazen Plunderer, another a legendary a Goblin Pirate. So definitely some pirate options for commanders in this deck. An Aruami of the Dead Tide. Okay, and then we have a Foil Blade Brand. Prismatic Piper. Yeah, it was uh, pretty quickly the ball really sort of gotten rolling on pre-orders. People buying three, six boxes at a time after that uh, Jeweled Lotus. So we're pretty much sold out, but you can check out www.dragonhillgames.com. I know we still had a few boxes left at the filming of this video. Dawn Glade, a Regent. So this is a seven mana elk. That's an eight, eight, an eight, eight elk. Wow. When Dawn Glade Regent enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. As long as you're the monarch permanents you control have hexproof. Seems pretty good. Then we have Belby, Corrupted Observer, this is a zombie elf commander, and Helena, Kessig Ranger, and a foil mythic. Nice. Triumphant Reckoning, nine mana, holy. Okay, so sorcery, return all artifact, enchantments, and planeswalker cards from your graveyard to the battlefield. Really sweet, nice looking foil. Mythic there for you, Robert. Yeah, kind of pumped to get to the um, collector boosters next week, and that's when we'll be getting it. We will have those a little bit before uh, they release on the 20th. Noxious Dragon, a blow Bio Waste Blob. Lots of oozes in this set too, eh? Four mana, zero, zero oozes you control, so an ooze lord, get plus one, plus one. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you control a commander, create a token that's a copy of Bio Waste Blob. Interesting. Prava of the Steel Legion, another Aram Arumi of the Dead Tide, and a Foil Explosion of Riches, Prismatic Piper. Okay, a few more packs to go. Yeah, would have been really fun to draft this, I think. I think this would have been a blast. A lot of really good drafters in my store, or at least we did, right? Before all this, Hunter's Insight. Three visits, another one of those, congratulations. This is a really good box. Ingenuity Engine. Okay, and then we have the Black Court. So Court of Ambition, four mana, enchantment. When Court of Ambition enters the battlefield, you become the monarch. At the beginning of your upkeep, each opponent loses three life unless they discard a card. If you're the monarch, instead, each opponent loses six life unless they discard two cards. This is a quality, quality tax to be putting on your opponents. Obeka Brute Chronologist. So we did a little top 10 video on that. If you're interested, I'll put that up in the top right corner. You can check that out. She's a really cool new commander that you can tap to have a player and the turn. It's a May ability. Fall This Shadow Cat Familiar and a Foil Rexage. Also a nice one to be getting. Especially if you kind of need those. Everybody needs Rexages for their collection, right? So it's always nice to have foil ones in there. Okay, here we go with a Volcanic Dragon. And then we have a Vow of Flight, a Merchant Raiders, and our rare is Keeper of the Accord. Then we have another Rebec, Architect of Ascension, an Emoti, a Celebrant of, ba of Bounty, and then a Foil impulsus, Impulsive Pilferer. Right, my piles are getting to be a mess. Got to fix Robert's piles here. Here we go. Okay, a few more packs to go. All right. Okay, we have a first response. And then we have an intangible virtue. Again, nice to see that that is back. A humble defector. An Amphin Mutineer as the rare, another Yurlock of Scorched Strash, which we also did a video on this one. A lot of cool new commanders. A Foil Nadir Agent of a Dusk Knell. Okay, three more packs. Okay. 
And we're gonna have another look at that jeweled lotus. Man, that thing's amazing. Okay, furnace celebration. We have an ordeal of Nylea, a lore seeker stone. Then we have Magus of the Order. So let's check this out. Is this new? I'm not sure. Magus of the Order, two green and two, a human wizard, it's a three, three. Pay one green, sacrifice Magus of the Order and another green creature, wow, okay. Search your library for a green creature card, put it onto the battlefield, and then shuffle your library. We have Kodama of the East Tree. There's a lot of chatter about this guy too. It's a six, six for six, legendary speecher, spirit, legendary creature spirit. There's a Kodama of each uh, direction, I guess. Kodama of the East Tree, East Tree, I think there's a North. Um, maybe we're missing South. I think we might be missing one of them. Anyway, six, six with reach. Sorry guys, my camera quit on me there. So whenever another permanent enters the battlefield under your control, if it wasn't put onto the battlefield with this ability, you may put a permanent card with equal or lesser converted mana cost from your hand onto the battlefield. And it has partner. Pretty sick new commander. A foil prosperous pirates. Okay, a couple more packs to go. Yeah, really pumped for... Yeah, really pumped for uh, the collector boosters next week. Sorry, my dog's going a little nuts in the background there. Probably somebody at the door. Sandstone Oracle, Demonic Lore, and an Armorcraft Judge. Ooh, a Mythic Hellkite Courser. So six mana. We have a 6-5 flying. It's a dragon. When Hellkite Courser enters the battlefield, you may put a commander you own from the command zone onto the battlefield. It gains haste. Return it to the command zone at the beginning of the next end step. Okay, so basically you cast this thing and you get to put your commander into play and then it has to go back to the command zone. Interesting. Six, five, four, six. Really cool looking a dragon there. Rograk, son of Roga. A Galarna, color of wirewood. And then we have a foil amorphous axe. Last pack. All right, we're going to have another look at that jeweled lotus. That was exciting. Here we go. Okay. Slow roll this one just a little. Okay, so we have a Fates, Faith's Fetters. We have a Vow of Wilderness. A Fencing Ace. And then we have a Wheel of Misfortune. It's a really, wheel, really weird wheel card. For three mana, it's a sorcery. Each player secretly chooses a number zero or greater. Then all players reveal those numbers simultaneously and determine the highest and lowest numbers revealed this way. When Wheel of Misfortune deals damage equal to the highest a number to each player who choose that number, each player who didn't choose the lowest number discards their hand, then draws seven cards. That is a mouthful. Holy cow. Okay. Rograk, son of Roga, also did a top 10 on him. Slurk, all ingesting, love the name for this ooze guy, and a foil defiant salvager. All right, congratulations on your box, Robert. We'll have another quick look at that amazing jeweled lotus. There it is, congratulations. All right, everybody, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out, and we'll see you again soon. Bye for now.